For the past year and a half, EMDD has been partnered with the Professor Garfield Foundation. Professor Garfield is a nonprofit organization established by Jim Davis, and currently the Professor Garfield website includes a host of multimedia teaching and learning tools focused on children's literacy. The Professor Garfield website, to give you a little bit of background, was really created because Jim Davis was looking for how Garfield can exist beyond newspaper comic strips. And what he found was that children were really picking up these literacy skills by reading Garfield comics in the newspaper and thought it'd be a great idea to build a website that was the world leader in free innovative learning games that were also fun and taught kids essential literacy skills. So Professor Garfield reached out to Ball State University Center for Emerging Media Design Development to really look at what was the overall experience of using the Professor Garfield website and was there an ability to create new learning modules to support the website moving forward. But in the Center for Emerging Media Design Development, we're really taught a new way of thinking about design, and that is using design thinking strategies and taking a user-centered approach. So we didn't just want to jump right into development. We first wanted to look at what was the state of literacy education today. We stumbled onto this term, this kind of buzzword, digital literacy, um, and we adopted a framework by Hagen Payton. And digital literacy is empowering students to use technology to collaborate with it, but not just use the technology, but to be creative, to think critically when they use technology, to really make smart decisions. Because in today's internet-fueled society, having these digital skills is essential to being successful, not just throughout their education, but in their post-education and then in careers. So we really kind of honed in on what is the state of digital literacy education. EMDD has been focused for the past year on taking it a step further by building a digital literacy curriculum for children in grades K through 3. Before really jumping into the project, we did extensive research, both looking at similar cases. So we looked at what are the educational websites that educators today are using in the classroom? What are the strengths of these websites? What are the weaknesses of these websites? What do teachers love about these websites? And additionally, we did lots of ethnographic research. So we put ourselves into the shoes of educators. We observed their behaviors. We interviewed them. So that way we had a very good understanding of what a teacher looked for in an online learning tool. So one of the advantages of design thinking is that when our team runs into situations where we don't have that expertise on our team, we can go to that expertise and get the information that we need. So one of the connections that we made was with a digital literacy expert from Ball State's Teachers College and she brought a lot of expertise to the project because she has that educational background. So over the course of the last two years we've been really trying to create digital literacy activities for the new Professor Garfield website. And to do that, we really looked at what the eight components of digital literacy are and how can, might we create activities that infuse these digital literacy components in a cross-curricular approach. With this partnership with Ball State's Teachers College, we created a class with over 40 pre-service teachers and we held brainstorming sessions and we generated over 50 ideas for potential activities for the Professor Garfield website. So the end result of all of our hard work here with the Professor Garfield project was to really build out a interactive prototype. So what we went ahead and did is using Sketch, which is a great um, application that you can use for creating wireframes and high fidelity mock-ups that are pixel perfect. We went ahead and created a smoke and mirrors prototype of the Professor Gar of how we envision the Professor Garfield website to look like. 